Patronica Williams found the man of her dreams, a great-looking New York City-based fitness trainer. He inboxed me on Instagram like, hey, gorgeous, how you doing? I want to get to know you. Her Romeo sent videos claiming he trained the stars of the VH1 reality show Love and Hip Hop. After weeks of intense messaging, he went to Africa on an assignment. Then trouble developed. He said he was stranded and he needed a way to get home. He needed money fast. He needed uh, $540 for a plane ticket. So she wired it to him. But then he said the Republic of Benin, Africa, needed more. He won't let me go home because I owe $1,500 in taxes. Before she realized what she was doing. I sent $2,076. The scammer was so good at what he did that he sent Petronica to three different pharmacies to wire him money. CVS, then Walgreens, then a grocery store so that there wouldn't be suspicions raised at any one place. Her friend Erica Trumbull saw red flags immediately. So you were suspicious at first? Mm -hmm, yes, I was. I instantly thought it was catfish. Erica realized her friend was a catfishing victim by someone pretending to be someone else. She told her how to find out. FaceTime him. The international man of mystery could not FaceTime, Skype, or even talk to Petronica, who now wants to just warn other women. They can't FaceTime you, don't file for it. Just remember one thing, never send money to someone you have not met in person and pause and talk to a friend about them before you fall in love so you don't waste your money.